Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to talk about a rather rare condition but a devastating condition called glioblastoma. It is the worst type of brain tumour you can possibly have. We're not sure what causes it. Some people have spoke about a link between mobile phones and brain cancer. There hasn't been any really great studies to confirm that one. But whatever, when someone gets a brain cancer, and especially a glioblastoma, it is devastating. So we want some good news. We need some good news around this. And I'm going to give you some good news uh, during this checkup. Now, firstly, there's a University of Calgary in Canada have done a lot of seminal work in this area. And there's two things I want to talk about that they've presented. One, there's a particular chemical called interleukin-33, which, which is a, uh, a internal chemical, natural chemical in the body that helps to fight infections and immunity and cancers and the like. But when someone develops a glioblastoma, what happens is they attract immune cells to the glioblastoma that make this interleukin-33, but the glioblastoma then tricks the, the immune cells to basically get on side with them, and the immune cells, instead of killing the cancer, help the cancer grow. So it's a bit like Stockholm syndrome, or a bit like the Trojan horse. So, so basically, these immune cells are turning on themselves and helping the cancer rather than helping the body. Now, these researchers at the University of Calgary have blocked the effect of this interleukin-33 that comes from these immune cells and switched off that effect of helping the cancer grow and, in fact, then repurposing the immune cells to allow them to kill the cancer. And this is shown in a group of mice, hasn't been done in humans yet, but the trials are on underway to significantly improve the outlook from glioblastoma in mice who, who are genetically primed to get this condition. Interestingly, the same researchers also used a simple multivitamin called vi vitamin B3. Now, vitamin B3 is otherwise known as niacin, and this niacin actually helped reduce the, the amount of stem cells that became part of this glioma cells as well. So there's two big deals for the treatment of glioblastoma, and because up to now, the survival of glioblastoma is, is absolutely dismal. What they did with the mice who were given the B3, they extended their life from 40 days up to 150 days, which in human terms is quite a few years. So that's two pieces of good news for glioblastoma. I've got a really interesting thing to talk about next week on the same subject. That's the checkup. I'll talk to you next week.